हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू पार्ट 131 ऑफ लारा वन नाइन सीरीज इन विच वर्क इन दी मल्टी वेंडर ई कॉमर्स वेबसाइट सो वी आर वर्किंग ऑन दी वन चेकआउट पेज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू वर्क ऑन दी एडिट डिलीवरी एड्रेस ओके सो इन दी लास्ट वीडियो वी एबल टू शो दी मल्टीपल डिलीवरी एड्रेसेस इन आवर चेकआउट पेज यू कैन सी एंड सी आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू एज वेल a few videos back that there are three things that we are going to work on the checkout page first one is the multiple delivery addresses second one is the review card items and third one is the payment methods okay so we we are working on the first thing that is the multiple delivery addresses so in multiple delivery addresses uh, we are going to show the delivery addresses that we are showing right now uh, we are going to uh, add the shipping form delivery form from here the user can able to add his delivery address and we will also provide the edit and delete functionality for the delivery address and everything we are going to work on ajax there is no refresh of the page here you are going to see no refresh for the page and everything we are going to uh, do via ajax for the first time in the last series as well uh, we are using we are refreshing the page uh, but here we are not going to refresh the page in any of the functionality in card page we have not refreshed in checkout page we have not refreshed in login register we have not refreshed and you can see the complete website is almost in ajax okay so once again we will not refresh and we will start working on it straight away okay so uh, let's start and i'm going to open the checkout blade file that we have already created this one but now the time has come that uh, Uh, this part we will load in ajax like uh, starting from here up till here this complete part we want to load uh, this complete section in ajax okay so that the page will not refresh only this part will refresh okay so its form also and its address is also everything we are going to maintain with ajax so we are going to make the new page that we can refresh via ajax see this page we are going to uh make uh, see this div section this section uh we are going to make the new pair for this section okay uh, that we will call it as delivery underscore address is dot blade dot php file okay so uh, i'm going to create that uh okay so i'm going to create in this is my folder ecom9 project resources views front and inside front uh, products okay so in products i'm going to create in products i'm going to create right click services new terminal folder and here i'm going to create the new uh, that uh with the name uh, delivery underscore addresses delivery uh, delivery underscore addresses okay dot blade dot php okay so this is the file that we are going to create under the products okay so it has been created now we can open this file as well delivery underscore addresses dot blade dot php file and what we are going to do uh wherever we are having the addresses this is the part that we want to uh, move from here uh, okay so this is the complete part uh, this part we want to move from here and we will show there okay so what we can do uh, we will not move completely we will just move this part okay Uh, that we have already embedded okay this part only we are going to move i'm going to cut from here and we'll paste it here okay and make sure to align it okay so we can align this part so whatever we are having we are going to align it properly so that there will be no trouble for us okay so i'm just uh, closing everything all the script i can highlight this one and i will just move it here okay like this okay so now it seems to be better okay so we can start from the beginning and also what we can do we can move it further though we are going to update these conditions later on okay uh, maybe we are going to make it one okay so let's see so here in uh, here we are going to add this one okay so uh, here inside this one uh, i am going to add this uh, like uh, include i am going to include okay include uh, that path is or its file under front then products 
inside products its name is delivery underscore addresses okay so here also i will give a take one id uh, i am taking one id because that id i am going to use to refresh uh, this part okay so this is the id delivery addresses i will use this uh, uh, id to refresh the complete uh, delivery addresses blade 5 okay we are checks okay so now we can refresh and we can check that still it is working fine there is no mistake and you can see still it is working fine but this part is now separate but it's uh, working fine okay so now uh, we can move further and what we can do here uh, we will open this we are going to work on this one okay so i'm going to open this one uh, so uh, i'm going to add here the uh, edit option first of all we are going to work on the edit delivery address option okay so i'm going to add this option uh, somewhere inside the div so that we can add here edit and delete option okay so we can add the icons also and we can uh, add in return edit and delete also okay so uh, here i'm going to add it after label i'm going to add it here okay so here i'm going to add it like this uh, i'm going to see that also see there is no link we are going to load it via ajax okay it will work on on click okay on click jquery function so i will take the address id i will take it this time like this address id data address id equal to i am going to put here the address id uh, that uh, we are having like this okay in the same way we are going to have the id as well okay so other than the id uh, here i am going to take the class as well uh, i am going to take here the edit address with this class we are going to call the jquery function okay and i think that is enough right now okay so uh, here we are going to edit okay so we are going to check see okay so we are going to convert this uh, to some icon later on and i will also give here style float right okay so we have the edit option for both so i am going to add the uh, add the jquery function for it uh, with which it will work okay so that i'm going to do now okay so uh, we are going to uh, create the jquery function uh, in which we are going to uh, pass the complete address okay all these uh, we are going to pass there okay uh, so what we are going to do we are going to call the jquery function okay so i will open here custom.js at the front sorry and here we are going to write the jquery function i'm going to add after the apply coupon here i'm going to add the jquery function okay so here i'm going to write it edit delivery address okay so here i'm going to add the jquery function and uh, we will uh, use that uh, a dot edit address but here i'm not going to i'm uh, going to uh, write the another one dollar document dot on click function i'm going to add okay that will work perfectly on click on click of uh, edit address okay edit address that we have added there function okay inside this uh, we are going to take that address id uh, variable address id okay so here 
dollar this dollar data address id so we are going to check once okay first of all we are going to check that it is working fine or not i'm going to refresh and we'll see see here one is coming okay though it is going uh, further no issue and here two must come two is coming so it, it's working fine okay so up till here it's working fine we need to debug the code side by side so that there will be no issue later on okay so now uh, we are going to work on its ajax part i'm going to remove this one uh, now the ajax code i'm going to write here dollar ajax okay so here i'm going to add here data that we need to send there and in data i am going to send this address id okay so we will just add here the address id we'll send there like this address id and url url uh, we are going to uh, add one route for this one like uh, get livery address or uh, get livery address we are going to see that what routes we are making so that we can make the identical type of route okay uh, like coupons update coupons status okay so it's fine i think okay we can make here um, it's uh, it's the front part sorry uh, so we are working on here here okay so i am going to add here now to get delivery address get delivery address okay so this route we are going to make this route uh, okay so um, first let me complete this ajax part then type will come as post and success function here the response will come and error function and here the error will come we are going to alert if there is any error okay so now we are going to create the route but first of all uh, we need to update the form as well here okay we need to have the same form see once the uh, we will click on the edit either here or either here this form will automatically open and its values will automatically fill with the edit button so that the user can able to update his delivery address okay so that thing that is our goal that we want to do okay so here i'm going to update here we are we are required to update uh, our form here okay we need to update we need to show here uh, all the correct fields that we want to update okay so here it will come like delivery underscore name and also we are going to add the name for all the fields later on we will add the validation as well delivery name like this we are going to add for all so here after name uh, we are going to add the address here we are going to make here address so after address uh, we are going to show the city and state uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this one once again and here we are going to show the city and state city state okay so after city state oh, we are going to show the country but uh, country drop down will come uh, from we need to uh, add that uh, in the checkout countries we need to add in the checkout okay so okay so sorry this we need to open at the front uh, this one okay so i will open the checkout and here the front 
uh, that countries are required country model we need to get all the countries and will display there in the same way like we have done in the account if you remember uh, we have the account user account and here also uh, we are using here the countries you can see so the same we are required here in the products controller in checkout so this one we are going to do in the same way and these countries we are going to just simply send that to our blade file okay so here in delivery addresses we can show that the country like we are showing in the account blade file if you remember we have the country list here if you will go there and you can check this is the country list that we are having there so same country list we are require here in our delivery address so i can just paste it here uh, because the country list will remain the same for the complete website okay so just the classes we need to use our uh, checkout page classes we will not use the account page classes rest the functionality will remain the same okay so here uh, like we have the delivery state we will have the delivery country in place of the user country uh, we will have here the delivery underscore country for both uh, id as well as the uh, uh, name okay so now we can check this one i can close okay so this one we can move and now the country list must come fine let's see and and the other fields must also come fine okay so see country model we are required to add uh product controller at the top of the press controller here we are going to add the comp uh, the country model okay we are going to add here this app models country so now we are going to check once again and here you can see uh if we will click here name uh city name or name address city state okay fine and then the country list country list has come okay it's fine so after that we will show the pin code as well few other fields are here so unwanted fields we can remove okay just the pin code and mobile we are going to show so this one is not required we can simply remove this uh, see town city all these fields we can remove okay so this uh, uh one postcode uh i think only uh email is required we can remove this one as well and just postcode and one more field for mobile and this one we are going to make it pin code simply and the last one we are going to make mobile okay and here i'm going to add here the underscore pin code okay so now all the fields are ready and finally one more field we are going to add here and that is to save okay whatever whether it is add whether it is uh, uh, edit we need to save it as well okay so that label we are going to remove just the button uh, we are going to add here one button button uh and inside button i'm going to add the type submit submit okay and here i'm going to give the button id as well in case we require button uh shipping anything okay so uh, the uh, class also we require but first of all i'm going to give here the say button i'm going to remove this one and we'll check once first of all how it will look like so but i think we need to give the button like this okay so it looks fine okay so uh, what i can do i can just uh, search this button in the checkout blade file place order this button looks really good so class we can use for from here and here we can 
see id we can remove for now if we require then we are going to add so now see how would it be save okay save but it is smaller than this one but rest it seems to be fine but we can check once button type submit button mm, i think the div maybe uh, the difference uh, we're going to see that it's not inside the div actually uh, it is outside the div we uh, we can check once but i'm not sure that it will work fine uh, uh, we can click here uh, no still it is not work fine okay uh, we can remove the class this class or still it is creating issue we can check here okay so we can keep it like this for now mm. i don't have any idea i'm not so good in css uh, with we even can't spend much time into this uh, no still uh, it is too small uh, but i am not having any kind of idea that why it is showing or what we can do here uh, if we will add here some bit then what uh, what will go uh, what will happen i am not sure that how it will display but still we can try once see here uh, it is looking like this but maybe in response it will give trouble Mm, we can if we will try to give the hundred uh, percent let's see what it will uh, what it will show wow now it is working fine okay so finally we able to add the inline css okay so now it seems to be better so uh, but we want that whenever we will click on edit then this will automatically open and here add new will change to the edit livery address and this one will go away and along with that the all the content all the address will automatically filled up okay so this thing we want so let's continue let's make this thing so uh where we are we are uh going to uh see going to pick the uh, here in edit livery address uh so uh, this uh, route we have already added get livery address here we can see uh, no we have not added we are going to add now this route okay route and uh, i'm going to add here the post method for uh, uh, for the route okay post and here i'm going to add here get delivery address okay okay so now uh, we will create the new controller here address controller we are going to create and uh, here i am going to create one function inside the address controller and get delivery address like this get delivery address or get yeah it seems to be fine okay so this controller is required new controller is required because uh, all the functions like the edit delivery address add delivery address remove delivery address and uh, if any more function we require uh, uh, related with the address that we are going to add in the address controller okay so now uh, we are going to create this controller okay so i'm going to right click to my project folder i'm going back here to my folder uh, new terminal at folder and here i am going to create this one uh, php artisan make controller okay so here i'm going to add address controller okay so now we are going to check here the address controller has been created must have been created here address controller 
okay so see there is a mistake address controller uh, we need to add inside the front folder not outside mm, app http controllers uh, not here okay we will create inside the front okay so for that we need to uh, enter once again and here we need to make sure that it must be inside the front folder as it's we are working on the front part front end of the website so now uh, it must have been created inside the front folder here you can see the address controller okay it's coming inside the front so we are going to open the address controller here okay so here we are going to create this function uh, this get delivery address function here we are going to create public function get delivery address so now uh, what we are going to do we are going to uh, see we will call the ajax here uh, to get the delivery address and will return that to the ajax response okay and for that see we will add here request dollar request and here we are going to call the ajax here dollar request sorry Ajax. Okay. So here uh, uh, we will get the data dollar data dollar request. All okay so we will get the uh, address here uh, we will get uh, the address like this dollar address uh, from the delivery address model okay we are have we are having the uh, that uh, address id from uh, which we are going to get the complete address use and we are going to include the model as well delivery address and we will uh, now get the address here delivery address we can also mention it get address but address is enough here id and we are getting the 18 dollar data and that name is in ajax we are getting that uh, this one address id okay address id and first two array we will convert it to array as well okay so now uh, we will do that uh, return response uh, return response json okay in json uh, we are going to send the address this address that we are fetching from the database okay delivery address that the user is uh, going to select there okay so this one uh, we are going to send in ajax response here it will come up here okay so after we get here uh, we are going to uh, show uh, it in our form there okay in our form here all the fields will get filled up like delivery name delivery address so its value we are going to put in all the fields one by one so here we will get the response first of all then we are going to fill uh, we are going to fill it like uh, uh, suppose we are getting uh, there now field is like uh, we are going to add the field here uh, here we are going to add uh, the field like this name equal to first field is the delivery id okay see we also require there the id as well okay delivery id because that will go as the input field dot value and in its side in inside its value we are going to add here response dot address like this okay address id address id like this okay so and all other fields also we are going to add we are going to add like this uh, like uh, delivery name okay delivery name we are going to add it like this name 
and state and address okay here address we are going to add it like this address and then city then city we are going to add it like this city okay uh, and address city then state state we are going to add it like this state okay so city state then country country okay so after country we are going to add here uh, that uh, pin code after pin code we are going to add here mobile so i hope when whenever we will click on edit now it must work fine let's see what will happen so i'm going to click on edit i'm going to refresh first of all and one thing more uh, here we need to open this one okay so let's click on edit uh, this one we will work on it on uh, no issue but when we will click uh, here it must be filled with this one let's see some error has come we need to see okay some something happened here because uh, it is taking uh, we need to stop that form to work here is one form that is reducting us okay this form is not required at all because we are working with ajax so form will not required we will add the form whenever we require mm, where is that form not here i think uh, some down form here it is okay form we are going to remove and here from here also we will remove this form now we are going to uh, see once again but this time i will open the inspect also maybe the errors will come that we are going to resolve if any error will come here console we are going to open so let's see let's click on edit and some error has come definitely i'm thinking about it uh, still it is uh, showing that it is going uh, to we're going to refresh once again mm. so let's see now i'm going to click on edit and this time unknown status so that uh, 419 error comes that is due to the csrf token we need to add uh, that uh, uh, header uh, that header uh, that we always add uh, to uh, to prevent the csrf token if you remember this one headers okay this will prevent us uh, from the csrf token okay so this one uh, we are going to add after ajax here we are going to add this okay so make sure that you will add this one okay so this is mandatory to add after this this error will not come going back now once again and we'll see now and make sure that it must not refresh okay i'm going to click edit now c404 not found still it is redirecting i am going to see because it is redirecting because of the form itself once again it is redirecting uh, i'm going to search if there is still any form uh, that is only one form is there i think that must not give any issue that is not related with that other than that there is no form here also i'm going to see uh, if there is any form uh, see no form seems to be there uh, we're going to check why this issue is coming okay i'm going to do one thing here uh, form uh, we are going to add the form but uh, we will uh, not uh, add any action to that form because form is required to add uh, because later on we want to save that as well so for that uh, we need to add the form so after that we are going to see uh, like div class div option after this one we are going to add the form okay so i'm going to close this one all i'm going to close the save button and here i am going to add form fields inside form fields like this okay so here i am going to add the form i'm going to do it like this and here i'm going to add one form form and id i'm going to take its id like uh, uh, address add edit form add edit form like this okay so action i'm going to take here javascript uh, so that it will not submit action will get like this method we are going to give the post method post like this okay 
and here csrf token always we're going to do like this okay csrf okay so now we are going to check once again okay so now i'm going to refresh here and we'll see now i will click on edit here and now this time again it is going uh, to that link we need to see why it is going uh, so let's see actually issue is with the link here here you can see it is uh, uh, link is not correct here it must come like this okay now we are going to see see javascript uh, colon then semicolon okay so now we are going to check now it is working fine okay so here you can see the form has been automatically filled but we need to remove this as well and for that uh, we will update here uh, okay so uh, this uh, jquery function uh, we are going to update so what we can do here here we will check its class here mm, here you can see uh, there is uh, the class ship to different address uh, show different tar tar target is show different here uh, you can see and we can remove uh, its class uh, that collapse class we can remove here it has given the collapse class you can see the collapse we need to remove this collapse okay and also uh, we need to edit this one this one we will make it edit delivery address okay uh, edit libre address and this one these two things so for that uh, we will add uh, success response after success response we are going to add here uh, okay so uh, first thing is uh, that uh, we will uh, remove that class collapse class uh, from that id okay and for that uh, what i'm going to do id is show different show different here is the id we can pick this id show different is the id uh, okay so data target it is not the id it is the data target so what we can do we can add its id okay see here to this one uh, we can add its id uh, uh, show different so that's why uh, so because uh, we can able to remove its class so that is the thing that we can do so let's try once i don't think it will work uh, but let's try we are going to remove the class here and that collapse class we are going to remove so let's see if it will work okay so now if we are going to click uh, on here edit so it is working fine you can see it is working fine on the click of edit we can able to get the form okay and all the information is filled but we will no also not show the ship to a different address this also i think we must not show okay uh, because we have click on edit now the person will click on save only then it will close away and uh, so for that thing also uh, we are going to remove that and what i'm going to do here uh, ship to a different address i will make one class here we'll add one class here like new address like this class i'm going to add and new address i'm going to hide this one okay so i'm going to hide and one more thing we are going to do here uh, we are going to uh, edit that edit uh, that this content so here one more class i'm going to take here like uh, delivery test okay so that we can edit uh, its test as well okay so that for that also we will take one more class here and we'll change its test to uh, like uh, edit delivery So now we are going to see okay so now it must work fine and i'm going to click on edit wow how good it is edit delivery address is coming and here you can see the automatically filled content 
with the save button so you can see here how good it is looking see we just able to get the information via ajax if i am going to click on this one here also see the difference here the name is the amit gupta with the 123a new delhi address okay and here the information is amit gupta 12345 with ludhiana address okay with the punjab and delhi address so both addresses are different you can see its address is different though the name is same but its address is different so you can play with it like this like this like this okay so it is working fine you can see we able to get both the addresses uh, with the help of ajax now in the next video we are going to save this address okay so this will get saved and automatically show here without the refresh of page via ajax okay it will automatically show here the changes okay so that thing we are going to do in the next video after that we will also work on the add address and the delete option okay so let's quickly do that in uh, in the uh, in the upcoming videos and after that we are going to show the uh, order details here as well and then we will finally work on the payment methods so within the few videos we are going to do many many things we are going to uh, see within 150 videos this order placement process is going to be over with the cod at least okay so stay tuned for the next video and please do subscribe and always join the channel to get the uh, source code okay so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye